Hello everyone and welcome to the news of Ashruq TV. Today's stories include Government and Darfur Tracks Movements Continue Negotiation on Security Arrangements File Degalu arrives in Addis Ababa on a two-day official visit Initial signing for document of peaceful coexistence in Lagawa locality The government delegation headed by Lieutenant General Khalid Abdina Shami, the head of the security committee and the delegation of the armed struggle movements in Darfur track, continued via video conference sessions on the remaining items of the security arrangements file. The sessions held at the Salam Rotana Hotel in Khartoum and Crown Hotel in Juba in the presence of the mediation of South Sudan dealt with a number of issues related to the security arrangements in order to reach an agreement on all items at the same time by the mediation for both parties who have made great progress in many items and access related to the file. The first deputy chairman of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Mohammed Hamdan Dagalu, arrived today at the capital Addis Ababa on a two-day official visit to Ethiopia. Lieutenant General Mohammed Hamdan Dagalu will hold an official meeting tomorrow with the Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed on the progress of the bilateral relations between the two countries and a number of regional files, especially the files related to the peace operations in the region. The first Deputy Chairman of the Sovereign Council will also meet with a number of officials of the African Union to discuss peace issues, particularly in Sudan and the state of South Sudan. The Minister of Federal Governance, Dr. Adday Yusuf Adam, affirmed that the experience of decentralized governance is worthy of attention to restore national unity, promote diversity and institutional and administrative reform of the state, but it was applied in political systems that disrupted laws that call for enriching the experience and its development. During his address to the opening session of the workshop on legal frameworks for decentralized governance, held today at the Ministry of Federal Governance in cooperation, with the Ministry of Justice and the United Nations Development Programme. Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok received at his office the General Supervisor of the New Partnership for Africa's Development, NEPAD, and the African Peer Review Mechanism, Dr. Hassan Abdullahati. Dr. Abdullahati briefed Hamdok on NEPAD's current situation and the necessary needs in this connection. He said in a press statement that the meeting reviewed writing of second self-assessment for Sudan, which reflects the change that took place in the country. A document of peaceful coexistence between the components of the Lagawa community was initially signed in the presence of the head of the central delegation, Lieutenant General Abdul Khair Abdullah Nasser, commander of the land forces and the governor of West Kordofan State, Major General Abdullah Muhammad Abdullah. The supervisor of the Kurdufan states, the member of the Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Shamsuddin Kabashi, will witness next Thursday with the ministers of federal government, the energy in the mining, and the ceremony of the final signing of the document, emphasizing the convening of the coexistence conference at the last quarter of current year in the state to discuss all issues of the Legawa community. Meanwhile, the two sides have a firm commitment to implement the document of peaceful coexistence as the true guarantor of peace and the cessation of hostilities. The Sudanese pharmaceutical entities announced at a press conference that it will help organize a protest next Thursday afternoon in front of the buildings of the Council of Ministers following its submission to a memorandum to the Prime Minister Dr. Abdel Hamdok, including six demands concerning the drug crisis. The member of the Sudanese pharmaceutical entities, Dr. Anas Siddiq, explained that their first request to the state is to deal with the drug as a strategic commodity with the importance of providing with the amount of $55 million monthly the establishment of a permanent portfolio to work for meeting the annual liabilities of hard currency to the sector which is estimated at $650 million with the need to clarify the implementation mechanisms. Dr. Anas Siddiq has asserted the necessity of the state's commitment to pay and schedule the outstanding debts amounting to $105 million for the National Supply Fund, in addition to $60 million for importing companies at the official price.
The Minister of Irrigation and Water Resources, Professor Yasser Abbas, said that the technical side of the negotiations on the Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is backed by the executive organ, calling on the political forces, parties and the public to line up behind Sudan's stance, considering that the issue of the GERD is a national issue that does not bear any political confrontations. While components in the forces of freedom and change have announced their support for the negotiating delegation on this sensitive issue. Abbas indicated in the enlightenment he presented to the leaders of political parties, irrigation experts, engineers, on the latest developments that the negotiations take place according to Sudan's interests first and foremost, confirming their keenness as a technical side to avoid any attempts to attract polarization. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced the registration of 305 new cases of infection with coronavirus, in addition to the registration of nine deaths and 100 recoveries. The epidemiological report indicated that the total number of cases since the beginning of the pandemic amounted to 7,740, with 477 cases of death, while the total number of the cases of recovery reached 2,820 cases. An agreement for strengthening the capabilities to combat COVID-19 was signed between the Sudan Red Crescent and its Turkish and Qatari counterparts. The agreement was signed by the General Secretaries of the Sudanese, Qatari and Turkish Red Crescent societies. And now we remind you with the headlines. Government and Darfur tracks movements continue negotiation on security arrangements file. Degelu arrives in Addis Ababa on a two-day official visit. Initial signing for document of peaceful coexistence in Lagawa locality. That was everything from Ashuruq TV. Thank you for following and see you next time.